So if you're still here, and I'm not just talking to myself, <laughs> this is part four of the basic journal cover construction. At least it's the way I do it. Um, there is hard, there are hard covers and there are soft covers. Me and myself, I like mainly to do hard cover journals and photo albums rather than soft covers. There's nothing wrong with them. Everybody has their own that style and way that they like to do them. But this is how I like to do mine. I like mine to be solid so I know that they're going to hold up and last and not fall apart. So with that said, now I'm going to use my Fabrifix and I'm going to go around and I'm going to glue down these pieces after I cut out little triangles right here where the spine is at so it folds up nicely and there's no bulkiness. So after I do that, I'll be back. All right, now that that is all glued down, I'm going to give that a couple minutes to dry. I'm gonna go wash all this fabric fix off my hands and then I will come back and show you the final inside process to cover all this unprettiness up. I'll be back. All right, now that the glue is off my hands, I'm going to use a lightweight cardstock in black to cover up the insides of this to hide the rest of that uh, fabric and the paper in the spine that I have folded over. So with this, it will look a lot prettier and it will make the spine even more solid and secure. So I'm going to get this done. Um, I'll be using my double-sided tape and my art glitter glue. This is the glue that I recommend. So if I was you, I would use this if you're not already. I'll be back. So now that the inside has been covered with black paper, this is the end result before I go ahead and put the holes in the spine and put the eyelets in. This is what we've got. How beautiful is that?